This is a Honda HS928 TAS snow thrower. Wonderful machine, but one of the things I realized when I first got it is that the ergonomics of the chute rotation control are not good. Uh, it operates in the opposite direction that you would expect. Just imagine having a car with a steering wheel that would uh, turn right when you turned it left. That's basically what I experienced here. Also, the handle was very low. It was just above knee level, and that was not comfortable. So I looked online for modifications, and I found something that somebody else had done on YouTube, and I put a link below to that reference. I did a few things different, but basically I copied the design. This is a seat belt motor, uh, I'm sorry, a seat motor, uh, which was available from Amazon for about $16. Half inch copper pipe, a couple of cotter pins, and I coupled that into the original shoot rotate, rotation shaft. Um, <clears throat> that was mounted to an existing bolt hole with a one and a half inch wide, one eighth inch thick piece of aluminum. I added a battery shelf, which is two inch wide steel. You can get these strips of steel from Home Depot in the hardware section. And I added an alarm battery uh, or UPS battery. This is a seven amp hour battery, but any battery would do, any 12 volt battery. <clears throat> the only hole that I actually had to drill was for this control switch. As you can see, it's a momentary contact, double pole, double throw, center off switch. I added a rubber boot. I wired it in down below here. I don't know if you can see it, but this is the circuit breaker. It's a 10 amp circuit breaker. And uh, I wired that into the battery. So I'll show you how it works. nice and fast and that's it see the notes below I have more detail there